What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to the Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to Delta, which is where we are right now, and I got a little bit lost, wasn't really sure what I was supposed to be doing. We have this antenna-like thing here, and we've been able to try to establish connections with it, but we don't really do much with that. And so, at the end of the last episode, I basically said, all right, I'm going to think on it for a little bit and then figure out what we need to do. I ended up thinking about it for a few minutes and was like, you know what, I'm actually going to look it up. So, that's what I did. And I realized that we didn't even interact with this monitor here. So this should probably offer quite a bit of insight. Let's see here. So, shipping. Um, malfunctioning. Haimatsu. Saturday. Frame components. Pascal cartridge. Delta evacuation to Theta was on August 14th. And then on the 15th, oh, we see unspecified to Theta. That was probably acres. And then the Zeppelins, so it looks like 216 and 840, their status is not, well, not apparent, right? Um, but on the other hand, the 49 Zeppelin is idle. So we can't, oh, okay, so we need to establish a link with specifically 49 in order to call the Zeppelin, and that's going to be our ride out. And that's how this comes into play. Now it all makes sense. Tell you the truth, I fucking love my job. I love that Delta is such a tight operation. I get to try everything here. I'm trying to remember which one was it. I think it was the yellow one for Channel 5 that was 49? Looks okay, right? Yeah. We talk about this robot too? Yes, that is it. Lovely. So now that we have this link established, what we can try and do is request the Zeppelin with this monitor over here. Although maybe we, before we do that, we should check out and read the other components of this terminal. Oops. I hit X instead of R2. So let's go back real quick. Antenna, signal strength. Okay, it's, it's pretty solid, right? Oh, interesting. Oh, and so this is how you can tell um, which direction you need to be turning the antenna in. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And then the radio, corrupt audio buffer, restore files. Okay, what are we going to find here? Delta Theta from August 14th. So this is when the evacuation took place. Strasky, you can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by redigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set on being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> See you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Yeah, so this information would have been incredibly helpful in telling us what we need to do here, right? Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Acres, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, Honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> that sort of like sinister laugh in the background. Obviously, we know from all the other things that at that point uh, he had planned to inject people with the, what is it, the structure gel and, and all that jazz. But now I think we should be able to call Zeppelin 49. Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. All right. That should be over here. Unfortunately, this person did not do so hot. Things are getting pretty staticky near him. This looks like the person that was injected with structure gel as well. That's definitely the Zeppelin. Is the Zeppelin bringing this sort of static? Or is it from us looking at this person? Can we interact with them? No? Okay. Alright, well, I mean, we'll go get ready. Oh, and so the Zeppelin is that thing from the drawing before. Yikes, this person has seen better days, too as have many of the people around Delta Station. Okay, so now that we have made it onto the Zeppelin, how do we how do we get out of here? Ah! 
calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. I mean, all right. Uh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. You care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? <laughs> not over the head and steal their chips. The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Ooh. Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Yeah, so that's that's exactly where I saw that conversation going. More of like a yeah, it's just a robot, but at the same time, we're robots, and what makes us different from the robot that's complaining about its work day, etc.? Um, was it an AI that's just acting human, or was it a human that was uploaded to that robot, etc.? I, I feel awful. The robots only appear intelligent. They're much more like dogs than humans. I wouldn't hit a dog. <laughs> Sorry, the poor choice of words. I don't want to hurt anything. Well, we need a tool chip, or we're stuck here. Take the stun baton from the box I opened and hunt down a robot with a working tool chip. One of my questions is going to be... <clears throat> oh, wow. How do we use this? I don't really know how we, like, swing it or whatever, but... But one of my questions is, is this a rod or whatever that we're going to keep with us for quite some time? Obviously, I think I know which... For lack of a better term like robot or AI or whatever it might be, I think we're going to be taking it from this guy over here. He's the only active robot we've seen around here. All right. Careful, Brand. Nice and easy. Oh, come on. Dang, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel really bad right now, guys. Okay, so we don't keep this for future use. I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if they allowed us to have a weapon for future enemies. Because I feel like this is the sort of game that like makes you feel powerless, right? By design. to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well... I'm sure it's fine. fine to you, Catherine. Is he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Wow, so at this point Simon has transitioned to acceptance, right? <clears throat> All the signs were pointing to he's a robot. And at this point it's like, you know, there's, there's not much more to say about it there. Simon's pretty much a robot. And it's coming to terms with it. Thanks. I hope we didn't leave anything behind at Delta, but... I guess we're finally on our way to Theta now? Like, for real? <laughs> no more crash landings at other sites? Anything interesting in the scenery? We're probably high enough out or high enough up that it's a little bit too dark to see anything down low. There's probably not anything too interesting in our immediate surrounding either. Oh well. We will 
We will wait patiently and enjoy the ride. Feel pretty safe up here in the Zeppelin, which is not not always the case in this game. So maybe enjoy this security for the fleeting moments it exists. And now we start to get a glimpse of Theta. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the duck back, and head down the abyss. Four thousand meters. Whoa. That's a long way. We don't have to worry though, because with the dump back, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Wow. Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me go? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget This is so interesting. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. It's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. Simon really exposing a lot of the, the conflict about what it means to be human, what it means to be a machine, and the, the complexity of addressing one's own existence, right? What does it mean for you to be you? Does it depend on your body? Does it depend on how you perceive the world? Does it depend on your memories? All of these different things. And then, of course, the careful balance between, like he was saying, thinking about it and potentially going insane versus, well, just kind of blissfully maintaining ignorance. Now, I know this is probably not the way we're supposed to go, but I couldn't help but notice these areas over here. I wanted to check it out. What is this? So this is Shuttle Station Theta. Can we open this? No? Oh, and we don't have our little friend to help open it. Oh, we don't have our little buddy. We don't have Kate with us. Alright, then I'll check out this area over here. What's going on over here? All this light is drawing me over. What are these things? They seem to be like... Oh, maybe that's just... <laughs> maybe that's just the game glitching out. Not, uh, not a feature. Anything over here of interest? No? Okay. Alright, then, so it doesn't seem like there was really much to find over here. Then I guess we'll head over into this direction towards Theta. And see what we find. Got some flashing lights over here. Maybe that's of interest. Data buffer available. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? Is that a rough day? Nice. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The Wowser did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the sink. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. So this is when Akers arrives, 
and clearly looks like he's had some negative encounters with WoW. Obviously, though, um, he spent many months alone with WoW, and and probably feels on top of the world, even if things um, don't appear that way. Let's see, anything else of interest? No, is there... Oh, is there something over here, too? This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't <laughs> kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Interesting. So somebody was talking about continuity. I'd imagine it's the idea that once you upload your yourself to the Ark, um, at that point you you start to diverge from your previous experience, right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Who is this? But just to finish my thought, so once you upload your data to the Ark, you then essentially live a meaningless life afterwards, knowing that it's going to come to an end, and thus you might as well, I guess, kill yourself so that the continuity of the life you continue as a robot, as in, as data, um, is continuous with that you actually lived as an, you know, an actual human. And there are no perceived significant jumps. That's all I can think of, but I'm not sure. Anyways, what what is this robot here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Park? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmire when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. So a couple interesting things to glean from that. Catherine, Simon doesn't think Catherine would be bothered by the people killing themselves in order to, you know, be on the Ark. Even though this robot, Ro Robin, doesn't attribute that I to... something different. Doesn't attribute that to, like, her philosophy, etc. And then one of the other things is that Robin mentions that they think they that there would be, like, 40 to 50 people here. Which is significantly smaller number than I expected for the Ark. I'm not the only one who got scanned. And then the other question is Simon talking about, oh yeah, you're on the Ark. But this is clearly not the Ark, right? Like, you are uploaded to some sort of machinery that is weirdly connected via WoW to this power source and other machinery over here. Like, this, you are far from an ideal afterlife in the Ark. It's Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. 
They saved us all. Simon feeding into the lie because he doesn't have the he doesn't have the courage to break the truth to Robin, who at this point, even knowing the truth, wouldn't necessarily benefit from it, right? See you later. Will do. Oops. I uh, I thought interacting with that would give me one of those like moments where I stick my hand into those things, as opposed to unplugging Robin. I'm sorry, Robin. Maybe, maybe it's for the better that that happened. Maybe it's not. I don't. I don't actually know. I mean, pff, geez, that's a deep ethical question. But um. Okay, well, sorry about that, Robin. I thought I'd be, like, unplugging the power to divert power elsewhere, or... I don't know. At the very least, I thought it was... I initially thought it was going to be some sort of... Like, one of those called data buffers. But then, in previous times, we've had to unplug, you know, power sources from certain things so we could get power elsewhere, but... It doesn't even seem like that's going to be the case here. Oh man, I bet there are so many different endings based on how you interact with the other robots you meet. And it's so interesting because in the very beginning of the game, we interact with these robots and we're like, dang, these like robots are crazy, they're not even real people, but they're acting like real people, and eventually we learn that we're, well, we're one and the same. Can I interact with this lever? Come on. I guess not. And it doesn't seem like I can, uh, can I rotate this further or what? I'm trying to rotate it. For those of you wondering. Come on. doesn't really seem to want to budge. Can I hit this now? Is that all I needed to do? I can figure this oh, out. Oh, great. Okay, so this won't move at all right now. I mean, what's there to figure out right now? I don't feel like I'm solving a puzzle. I feel like there's not much to do. I can interact with this thing. And when I move to the left, or try to rotate counterclockwise, that's what happens. And when I try to rotate clock clockwise, nothing happens. Like that. So... Is there much to figure out here? <laughs> and then when I interact with this, whether I hold up or down, this is all the degree of movement I get out of it. Is there a switch or a panel on the left side, too? No? There's some lights over in the distance here. I highly doubt that's where I need to go, though. We'll take a look to be safe. But I don't think this is where I need to go. Maybe we'll find something, though. What's this? Can I get back to work now? 
Huh, interesting. I'm curious to think about what's meant by winning people over, right? What sort of dynamic was present in the office or on these stations that led to Catherine being some sort of an outsider or heavily disliked related, something related to the Ark, no doubt. Although we did get that information before that she was unfortunately um, wrongly blamed for the people that started to kill, them, kill themselves after being uploaded to the Ark. All right, so we, we've definitely got to figure this out. I don't know what's going on here. Um, like I said, I think these are the only things I can really interact with at the moment. And I don't know how to interact with them further. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Why is this being so weird? Finally? Can I... Now I push it back in? And now I can pull the lever. So, for those of you that are wondering, kind of like the right analog stick motions I had to make, were like, it would maybe move like 30 degrees on the wheel that you guys can see when I made like a, like a 180 degree uh, sort of half circle motion with my right analog stick. So I had to basically do that like three or four times in order to get it to, to move. And it seemed like it was going to reset back to its original position if I didn't do it quickly enough. So kind of odd, but um, not the end of the world. I guess this button is not entirely uh, needed. But anyways, I think we're now finally heading into Theta. Probably have to enter another one of those pressurized chambers. And we just got a trophy for the Dunbat. That's the thing we need to obtain before we can go, what is it, like 4,000 meters deep into the abyss to try to find the Ark. And we're outside the water again. I will say the visuals look a little bit more dynamic with the contrast that's afforded to no longer being underwater. Shout out to loading screens. Alright, let's see what's inside here. Rather bright with that light. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Can I interact with this? Notably, it says wow here. Yeah, we found Theta. There's a desk in here. What is this music? I really like it. Probably need to turn on the power in order to get into some of these rooms. This looks like something I can interact with. Access denied. So we're going to need to get another tool chip for our Omni tool before we can get through this huge door. So, given that on the right hand side we don't have power to get through that door, we probably need to progress over this way. Can I get through this door? No. Can I get through this door? No. Can I interact with this? No. Alright, back to square one. What can I interact with in this room? At the moment, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. Can I... Maybe I can break the glass. Let's give it a go. Alright. Can I jump through? Please? There we go. Okay. We are moving and grooving, guys. What are we going to find in here, though? Any of these drawers of interest? No. What about these lockers? Any, any documents or notes or anything like that inside here? We found a couple in the past. Here is likely where we can update our chip or our like our permissions. We're here. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when So we that's what the Dunbat is. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? 
It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Really? Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. It is, for sure. Here we go. The Dunbat. Oh, damn it. I knew it was too Of too course. Too What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. Why? We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Alright, well that's helpful. I'm trying to think. Is it even really saving humanity if it's just the Ark? Right? If the Ark is just this virtual experience that's going to last for thousands of years based on solar light, is that really even saving humanity? Is that even really a continuation of humanity? I mean, I, surely that's one of the questions that this game is trying to get at, right? I'm Even though I can understand Simon's heroics, and I certainly wouldn't stop whatever efforts I have to be able to, whatever you know efforts I can make to save in the Ark, it doesn't quite feel like saving humanity, especially, and I think, yeah, especially because there's no hope that once everything is in the Ark, it's ever going to leave, right? The Ark is considered a permanent final step for humanity because once you're in the Ark, I don't, I don't think there's any chance that you're getting out of it, right? You're never escaping back to a real human body. And at that point, it's, you know, humanity is at its final door, right? We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone okay, who knows so we're not getting pretty cipher. unique uh, dialogue there, but what's on this computer here? Site status. They had all systems operational, the hull is intact, the armor is intact, life support, the air is clean, the temperature is kind of chilly. Um, the pressure is fine, last diagnosis 2104 on the 16th. So this is the day after Acres arrived. So we have a map, and this shows where we currently are. We walked in from that side on the right, and then we broke through the window to get into this room. So there's going to be a big room on the right, uh, and then a couple small rooms on the left. What about level one? Oh boy. And then level two. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Yeah, I'm not really liking it either. The black box beacon. I feel like, just from that comment uh, Simon and Catherine just made, that those indicate some degree of, you know, machines or people. But I'm not sure. Also, shout out to the uh, the parallels with <laughs> Nier Automata. And then Staff. Uh, Theta Main. Emma Alvaro, Astrodynamics Expert. Robin Bass was the field service technician. Deceased. Okay, Catherine Chun. Missing. Interesting. Some people were just straight up missing. I mean, I don't recognize a lot of these names, but some of them I do. Even like Kronstedt, right? Supervisor, deceased. Um, who else sticks out? Uh, Reed was one of the names we've heard. Missing. Strasky is supposedly alive, right? Hmm. Heather Wolchek. That's another name we've heard. And then Guests. I don't recognize a lot of these names either. But a lot of people are deceased. A lot of people from other stations. Delta, Upsilon, Lambda. Jane Adams. That feels familiar, but I don't remember exactly why. Oh, and the staff, that was as of 2104-11. So this is a couple weeks before uh, Mr. Akers shows up. 
Okay, so that was that was pretty helpful. What about the map here? Pathos 2. So that's demonstrating the whole route underwater. Western Sahara, Venezuela. Okay. And now that we have now that Catherine has things running, we're seeing you know some some good status signs. And we can open the doors and all that jazz. Cool. So we have made some good progress. Do I have wait, do I have the Omni tool with me? No, I don't. I can't believe I almost forgot it. Oh, no, I don't need to bring it with me. So we got to find somebody who knows the security siphon. We're probably going to have to find one of the machines on the lower levels to do that. But first, there are a couple different rooms up here. So this one is unlocked. As well as this one, right? This isn't the one that has a stairwell. Oh, no, it does look to seem... Thanks, Stromeyer. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanation. Be quiet. The proxy listens. That sounds like a warning. Be quiet. The proxy listens. Who's the proxy? And a proxy of what? I'm not really sure, but it looks like this heads down into the deeper floors. I I thought there was one of these rooms that was just kind of like a stationary room up here that I wanted to explore before going deeper. Nope, this, uh, this is definitely something different. It's so ominous, this, like, long hallway that lights up now that we're in here. Alright, so I'm gonna say that in the next episode, we're actually going to explore Theta. We have this hallway we'll probably go down, and then there are, of course, the lower levels that potentially have plenty of machines, good and bad, waiting for us as we try to find this cipher key. Here is a data buffer that we can interact with in just a moment, but... Um, of course, all that is going to be happening um, in the next episode. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good question. Clearly, there are a lot of mysteries to solve on Theta, and I hope you guys are looking forward to them just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>